Hello everybody, so we'll start in a minute or two. Uh, I just figured I'd do a stream. Sorry I haven't been streaming too much, but I've just been... I've been kind of exhausted from COVID and I just haven't really been sleeping too well. So it's pretty much confirmed at this point. I just have to um, accept the letter, but I will be moving to Winnipeg. Moving across the country. Uh, it's going to be a difficult and stressful experience, but... It is what it is. I've uh, saved up some money living with my parents, so I can probably get a decent place there. Once again, it's not the nicest place in Canada, but compared to a lot of places in the world and in the U.S., it's not that bad. I can probably live in a gated community or somewhere uh, fairly decent. So I'll just give it a couple minutes. It's midday Saturday, so I doubt many people will come on, but sometimes you just got to put some uh, content up. Life's one big gay op, and we all got to jump on Discord. So. Ugh. I was just calling my vet because I wanted to get some uh, medication for Rain. Uh, she can be a bit of a nervous Nelly, and yeah. I don't want her, just if it's possible to get her to be a bit less uh, nervous on the plane. I think that'd probably be worth it. So, Fortunately, most apartments allow you to have cats. Um, a lot of places don't want you to have dogs, which I think is pretty un understandable, uh, to be perfectly honest. Because so. dogs bark and dogs are big and... So we'll give it a couple minutes. If anybody wants to donate to the Argent Moving Fund, uh, please feel free to. I think it'd be a good, um, good investment in your money to improve the overall uh, quality content of this channel. Okay, so today we're going to be playing. This popped up in my Steam recommendations the other day and it was free, so I figured I might as well give it a shot take a sip it's called half world socialism which is based on some like bizarro novel um or some bizarro like theory so basically you become the socialist dictator of the world and you have to try to save the world from global warming poverty and environmental degradation it kind of reminds me a bit and maybe i'll do a stream of that some other time of Fate of the World, which was a game that came out a number of years ago that I found was pretty interesting, but was incredibly difficult in that I was never really able to go anywhere um, with. Uh, it was it was an interesting uh, thing. Once again, the idea was uh, global warming. I think, yeah, Fate of the World came out in, I think, 2010. It was a long time ago. It was back when I was in university. I remember playing it in uh, university or something like that. So, That being said, why don't we get started with Half-Earth Socialism. <laughs> uh, the music's super loud in this game, so I've turned it off. If you're having trouble seeing the game, we'll see. Uh, this game is really fucking janky, so if you hear me swearing a bit from that, um, that's why. <coughs> Let's see, new game, booting up. In 2022, a socialist revolution swept the globe. The regions of the world united to establish Goss Plant, a global planning authority. I like how it's like this shitty trademark. Goss Plant was tasked with undoing the myriad harms that centuries of capitalism have un had unleashed on the planet and its people. You have been elected as God's plan's first lead planner. It's your duty to bring warning below um, one degree Celsius, the extinction rate below 20, and emissions be to below zero while there is still time. 
you may you must do so without letting people's contentedness dip to below zero otherwise they will vote you out of the office and you must do so without letting your political capital dip below zero otherwise your adversaries may take the opportunity to overthrow you in a military coup it's a sunny day in havana where the first planning session will take place People are content. Biodiversity is suffering. The world is still warming. The glo one world government parliament is happy to work with you. Okay, uh, so I know how to play this game, so thanks. Okay, so. I don't know. It's I don't know what's with like the really funky, weird color scheme they came up with this. I don't know if it's supposed to be psychedelic or whatever it is. So at the moment, we have temperature rising, high emissions, high land use. Everything's kind of bad at the moment. Um, if I look at government, so there is various people who are members of your coalition uh, in this game, or people you can appeal to or not appeal to. So let's just go through them. You have the Malthusian. Uh, the original anti-natalists maintain high levels of consumption in the global north and stabilize the biosphere at the expense of an impoverished multitude. One has to be ruthless to defuse the population bomb. The freedom to breed is intolerable. Wait a minute, what's this? Dislikes? People trying to get into their lifeboats. The utopian... Nature relieved by the relaxation of man's work would be recovering her ancient beauty and be teaching men the old story of art. We have the consumerist. You want to live fancy, live in a big mansion, party in France, you better work, bitch. The great philosopher Britney Spears. The fanonist. Now, I thought the fanonist was like people who posted on fanfiction.net, but apparently it's not. <coughs> revolutionaries in the global self self for a colonized people the most essential value because the most concrete for a colonized people the most essential value because the most concrete i feel like there's a spelling error is first and foremost the land the land which will bring them uh dig will bring them bread and above all dignity france fanon the eco-feminist patriarchy dominates both nature and women and thus must be overthrown. When women today attempt to change society's domination of nature, they are acting to overturn modern constructions of nature and women as culturally passive subordinates. Carolyn Merchant. That's fucking amazing. The leader of the eco-feminist group is literally named Merchant. The authoritarian intolerance of ambu ambiguity is the mark of an authoritarian personality based. Uh, the accelerationist. We declare that only a Promethean politics of maximal mastery over uh, society and its environment is capable of either dealing with global problems or achieving victory over capital. Accelerationist manifesto. Um, I'm going to be You'll see what my coalition is. The environmentalist. I think we know who that is. And the animal liberationist. Uh, fighting for animal rights. Fighting for a world without pain. The question is not can they reason. Nor can they talk. But can they suffer. So the coalition I generally go with. Is accelerationist. Uh, utopian and environmentalist. Because uh, a lot of the socially liberal policies. I refuse to implement. So let's go into the planning stage. So you have these cards you can play. Uh, we're going to start out with research. <coughs> so each card is three points. Um, and it takes X amount of years to complete. And you have um, uh, 60 years to go through this. So what I'm going to do is you can speed up the process by... Um, spending more money but for some of these i'm just going to start researching so some of these are low-hanging fruit um there's not really a downside like for this one the environmentalist likes it and it reduces electricity demand but there's no negative same thing with uh green container ships uh biofabrication we'll just start researching that 
cellular meat where you artificially grow meat. We're going to start researching that because that's based. Uh, fast breed reactor. Uh, I just, generally speaking, research everything because there's not really a reason to not research everything. Just some of them take quite a while. Hempocrete. Scale up concrete production from hemp, locking carbon and building materials. So that increases uh, land demand for concrete, but decreases CO2 emissions. And our main goal here is to reduce CO2 emissions. Um, okay, so we're going to go next-gen solar panels. Nuclear fission. I've never been able to get nuclear fusion unlocked, but we're going to go with that. Um, of course, as part of their like crappy one world government, we have the search for extraterrestrial life. So we're going to look for that. Okay. So we're going to, let's see here, uh, protect ecosystems. That sounds good. Pedestrian and bike friendly cities, uh, ocean iron fertilization, where you just dump iron into the oceans. That sounds like a really good idea. Uh, expand recycling. That looks easy. Uh, expand public transit. Uh, more nature preserves. Energy concept for conservation campaign. I like how it's literally uh, the George Orwell Big Brother is watching you, but they're doing it as a positive. Okay, electrify road vehicles. Uh, compost. Uh, code generation. Let's see. Uh, biochar. Battery storage. And I'll put that one off. Now let's go into policies. So I'm going to go with the accelerationist curriculum. Um, teach children and adolescents that they can move mountains, channel rivers, and reshape the earth until it becomes a mere human artifact. Socialism should remove the forces of production, accelerate si scientific development, and reach the stars. So we're going to go with accelerationism, uh, environmentalism, and... Uh, utopianism. Okay, so I've used up all my points. Uh, now we go into managing the uh, production levels. So you have all the different uh, production levels here uh, that you're able to use to generate electricity. So I'm going to switch off cold fire for geothermal. Um, there's certain limits to how much you can do. So I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to increase hydro. Uh, I'm going to get rid of it, res remaining petroleum. Let me see if I can lower coal a bit more uh, and increase nuclear power. Okay, there we go. Uh, fuel production. Uh, so I'll reduce petroleum a bit in favor of blue hydrogen. The fuel situation is kind of difficult though. Mostly what you have to do that I found is you need to um, uh, try to reduce fuel consumption because uh, the ways of um, replacing it aren't very good, uh, generally speaking. Yeah, there we go. Here's the first jankiness. So yeah, it can just get kind of stuck. Okay, so that's good. Crops. Uh, we have industrial crop agriculture, organic agriculture, smallholders, and uh, vertical farming. So I think I'll start off by getting rid of some of industrial and replacing it with vertical. And then for animals, we just have industrial and organic. I don't think there's an option to eat bugs in this game, uh, bizarrely enough. You would have thought there would be one, but apparently there isn't. So I think that's good. And we're going to go ready. A couple years are passing. We have temperatures are rising. People are happy. Extinction rates about the same. Emissions have fallen. Uh, and there is fires all over the globe. 
So let's see here. All right. The environmentalist is talking to me. You seem like someone who loves nature. You also seem like someone who still recognizes that we're not trying to drive ourselves to extinction just to save it. It's all about harmony. We got to find a way to live harmoniously with nature. So the environmentalist has joined the coalition and that will give me additional support in government and uh, it gives me certain bonuses. So I'm going to go in and I have a couple more points in eco-socialist video game. Who would make an eco-socialist video game? That's what I want to know. I guess I'm playing an eco-socialist video game. So uh, there's predator reintroduction, which is kind of interesting. So we'll go with that. Uh, the benefits of rewilding reduces the likelihood of most zoonotic disease. Okay. Uh, we can go with integralist policies here. Uh, reconcile town and country. Uh, regenerative agriculture. Uh, restore desert habitats. Space elevator. And wooden skyscrapers. Cool. Okay. Uh, looks like they're having some sort of shortfalls. So for whatever reason, geothermal power just sucks in this game, and you just can't use it. I'm not really sure why exactly, but it just doesn't really work. So we're going to replace that with some more nuclear power. Uh, crops are fine, livestock's fine, and we'll go to the next year. Okay, contentedness is still high. Um, emissions are gradually falling. I finished Hempcrete and the Eco-Socialist video game. So I finished the video game that I'm currently planning. So playing, so that's interesting. The Accelerationist, you've been doing great as a planner. I feel that we're on the same wavelength. My party will join your coalition. So that reduces the, okay, so research costs less political capital <coughs> and reduces development time of relocate industry to space, which isn't particularly useful, uh, to be honest, but I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. I'll start researching that just because I can, because starting research doesn't cost very much, especially now that I'm in coalition with the... Uh, yeah, so this is what I mean by it's janky. So, like, it's got stuck here, so it was hard to kind of move that back and forth for a minute. Uh, floating wind turbines, green hydrogen, high-density batteries. Okay, these all seem to be going pretty good. Let's take a peek at infrastructure. Okay, we'll implement that. Uh, food waste campaign. So I can introduce a one world religion, uh, sorry, one world language. Uh, I might as well go with that because why not? We're building world socialism. An important aspect of world socialism is that everyone speaks Esperanto. Uh, let's see here. Coastal wetland production. Cloud brightening. I don't think there's anything wrong that can go with cloud brightening. Let's see what this does. Uh, inject particles into clouds to reflect more sunlight, reducing global temperatures. I don't think that there's any way that that could go wrong and be potentially destructive. So we're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to embrace full automation of everything. Rain, I get it that you want me to help, that you want to help me save the environment and all, but you're blocking the screen. So I, I can't, I can't implement... You know what? Just because of that, I'm going to ban outdoor cats. How do you feel about that, Missy? Remove fetters on the forces of production, restrict air travel. I'm not going to implement universal family planning because that's gay. Uh, let's see. Deep sea mining. I can crack down on crypto mining bros. Ban outdoor cats. Ban cars abolish prisons 
I'll save abolish prisons for later on in case I'm having a, a lot of trouble. Uh, okay, well, that looks all right. Let's go. Oh, so contentedness massively fell. So let's see, what's the problem? Uh, temperature change, some stuff went extinct. I did get a lot of political capital though. Um, oh. Okay, I got overthrown in a uh, citizen coup. It doesn't tell me why I got overthrown in a coup, but it looks like I'm going to have to start over again. So, okay, let's try this again, guys. The Nazbul coalition collapsed. I think I was too aggressive with switching my electricity plans too early which sometimes happens when I'm playing this game, so. Yeah, we got the jankiness. I can't move. There we go. Yep, jankiness. I can't move this back and forth. It's stuck. There we go. Uh, we'll skip cellular meat for the moment. Okay. So I'm going to avoid uh, changing the, uh, what's it called? The electricity or fuel mixture that much. Because I find that seems to be the thing that really fucks you, is trying to screw around with that. So, okay, perennial cereals and uh, phage therapy. Search for extraterrestrial life. All right. Protect ecosystems, skyscrapers. I'll just implement that because I can. Recycling, public transit. I think there's a certain degree of randomness to this with what the actual uh, cards you get dealt are. So. Uh, code generation, uh, battery storage network, and biochar. And I'll go back with my previous coalition of accelerationist, environmentalist, and I'll implement that, and utopian. Okay, change production. So I'm just going to slightly change it because it seems like if I change it too much, uh, people go completely crazy and just freak out. Uh, so I'll reduce petroleum by 10% to start and move that into blue hydrogen. Uh, crops, we'll just move that down a little to vertical farming. And let's see how this goes. Okay, people are still happy. Um, okay, things look like they're going okay. Uh, I think there's some... What got researched? Okay, so the new curriculums are available now. Uh, let's see if there's some additional stuff that I can uh, research at the moment. So I find at this part in the game, what you often will just have to do is just try to go for a couple years without doing anything while the whole, um, uh, well, some of your researchers and research and infrastructure is going along. Uh, cause once it's completed, then it'll be a lot easier to, um, deal with certain things. Okay. All right. But once again, there's really in a lot of cases no reason to not do all these uh, because pretty much everybody, uh, a lot of these, the overwhelming majority of people support and no one really opposes. So you might as well go ahead. Okay, green roofs, public transit. 
uh, direct air capture. One of the times I actually failed this game because I um, reduced emissions. I, I got negative emissions, but we were still using some fossil fuels. So I lost the game because of that, which I thought was kind of lame, but whatever. Okay. All right. I'm just going to leave the energy mixed untouched for the moment. Okay, that seemed to be a wise decision. Um, Africa is now lower middle income. I've got some more points that I can use. Okay, so the accelerationist uh, came in to the coalition of the willing. Okay, I'll start researching that. I don't think I need to research the eco-socialist video game quite yet. Uh, or maybe I will just for the... Okay, so those are almost ready. Hempcrete's almost ready. Uh, Long-range aviation. I've gotten to the point where I have enough points now that I can start spending points to speed some of these projects up a bit. And just to get them done. Because some of these things just take a really long time if you don't boost them. But you want to get them done as soon as possible so you can get the maximum benefit out of them. Okay, expand recycling. That's good. Uh, expand public transit. Uh, desalination. See if I can speed up compost, cogeneration, carbon negative concrete, biochar. We're going to introduce automation to uh, get rid of the third world's food supplies, um, or rather their uh, employment, because they can't afford robots. Uh, I guess I'll introduce desalination plants, because why not? As you can see, I've gone through pretty much all of these, except for the ones that uh, have possible negative side effects. Let's see if there's any policies I want to implement. Flexitarian. It's hard to make people give up meat entirely, but what if they ate a bit less? Shrinking the livestock industry will help biodiversity and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, even this moderate policy, though, might in provoke um, opposition. Uh, factory farming reform, ecofeminism. Uh, let's see here. Ban outdoor cats. Ban high seas fishing. Well, I'm in favor of just banning shit in general, so we'll ban high seas fishing. That is fishing outside of economic exclusionist zones, which actually seems like a good idea to me, uh, to be honest. Okay, so let's reduce coal power a little. Okay, and we will move that into nuclear. Uh, and I'll reduce petroleum and increase photo photovoltaic okay um i'll reduce petroleum and increase natural gas okay so that should help what's the maximum for vertical farming i can go 10 percent. okay all right let's go next turn Oh, okay, so global contentedness rapidly dropped. I'm probably going to get overthrown in a coup now. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay, so the consumerist is now against me. The utopian, though, is on my side. The nice thing about the utopian is um, you get a whole bunch of extra world uh, popularness, pop happiness when you do that. Okay, and then the environmentalist has also joined my coalition. So that's good. Okay. 
Uh, so electricity looks like it's a mess at the moment. I can't really see, though, why there's a shortfall. It's not really explaining that very well. So we're going to reduce that. Um, we'll introduce some more petroleum power, some floating wind turbines. I'll cut hydro a bit and throw that back into coal. Uh, so for fuel, we're going to do some green hydrogen. Uh, okay, we'll go with that. We're going to leave that for the moment, and we're going to leave livestock. Okay, so let's see what else is available at the moment. Uh, oh, wow, I have a lot of points now. So I can go through and spend a lot of stuff uh, and speed up basically everything at this point. Okay, so we're going to crack down on crypto mining, which we probably should do anyways, because this is blowing a lot of money. Uh, we're going to go with champagne socialism. We will ban outdoor cats because we can. Uh, I need to bring up my global uh, approval rating. So we're going to abolish prisons because that sounds like a good idea. Where the which will cause absolutely no, um, no problems. Uh, Malthusian uh, restrict air travel. Uh, what's this one again? Products take projects take longer. Products take shorter. Okay, so we can speed some of these things up now. We're going to speed up the electrification of road vehicles. Uh, direct air capture, I think. Uh, continental energy grid. Okay, we'll speed that up. Cogeneration. We'll speed that up. The carbon capture ones are kind of useful to get as early as possible because they actually reduce um, emissions below production. Like they don't just make things more efficient. They actively reduce the amount of um, time involved, uh, the amount of um, you can get into negative emissions. You can reduce the overall level of carbon in the uh, atmosphere using those. Uh, Esperanto, we'll spend some points to speed that up because my world approval is really low at the moment. Uh, green roofs are almost done. Phase out commercial fishing and subsidies for commercial food, seafood extraction and implement trans, trans, uh, transitional programs for p workers in the fishing sector. Uh, I'll speed up reconcile town and country because it's based integralism. Uh, regenerative agriculture. That sounds good. And we'll restore some habits, habitats. Okay, we got the space colony with asteroid mining. Mining Asteroid mining is based, so we're going to try to get that done as soon as possible. Uh, space elevator is also based, so we're going to speed that up. Most of these look like they're almost done at the moment. Uh, let's see here. Speed up photovoltaic. Perennial cereals are fine. We're going to start the um, the based cellular meat. Because lab-grown meat sounds pretty tasty. Okay, in the chat, would you rather have cellular-grown meat or eat bugs? These are the only two options that are being left to you by the Nazbol uh, One World Government. One of the two. 
I think I'd probably go with the cellular meat because at least it's actual meat. So. Okay. You see what I mean by this game being janky? Like, you might see how much trouble I'm having getting some of this stuff to just, like, function. Okay. Third generation biofuels and green container ships. Okay, let's see here. Policies. Let's see how this goes. There is a electricity uh, shortage. Okay, so we're trying to address this by moving some of the production back to petroleum and coal. We'll reduce biofuels because biofuels are horrible for the environment. Uh, let's see here. We'll increase coal and increase uh, natural gas. Vertical farming, smallholder farms. I might have to get rid of... Okay, so... Hmm. Uh, I'll just have to leave those for a minute. So we'll see if I get overthrown in a military coup this time. Or not. The eco-feminist. At Lake Chad. Okay, so there we go. I didn't get overthrown in a military coup. So the temperature is now actually going down. Uh, people are happy. I completed like 20 different projects. So I'm going to get a massive number of bonuses from that. The extinction rate is falling rapidly. And we're now in negative emission levels. Uh, so things seem to be going pretty good. I don't get why the Fanonist is joining me. I mean, I do read a lot of fan fiction. So I guess that's the reason why the Fanonist uh, would support my regime. But... Oh, so the authoritarian doesn't like me. That's too bad. It sucks to have a um, a Nazbul coalition without the um, authoritarian, but I guess it just is what it is. Okay, let's see. Low methane cattle fodder. Let's see if we can speed up the nuclear reactor. We'll speed up nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion isn't even a guarantee. You spend a lot of money on it and it takes a long time. And sometimes I, I've never actually seen it get unlocked. So I'm not even sure if it's possible to unlock it or if it's just a pie in the sky thing. That certainly seems possible, if not likely. Uh, mass electrification, 80% of fuel demand becomes energy demand, which is how the best way to deal with this. Uh, regenerative agriculture. I think it's gay, but I'm going to phase out commercial fishing just because it has really big bonuses. Uh, space colony. All I want is a space colony that you put in the seven chaos uh, emeralds and it fires a laser that destroys the planet. And you can use that as a way to um, intimidate Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, energy quotas. I'm not going to go with that because that's super expensive. Degrowth in populated regions. I'm not going to do that. Um, ban non-indigenous hunting. Ban the exotic animal trade. Uh, I think I'll go with that. That sounds fair enough. Invasive species are a big problem in a lot of parts of the world. Uh, ban non-indigenous hiding, hunting, not hiding. What the fuck am I talking about? Fan in his curriculum, restrict air travel, vegan mandate and vegetarian mandate. <laughs> Meow? Yeah, Rain, they'd probably get rid of you under these policies. On the grounds that you are just too, um, well, A, that you're too cute and these people hate everything that's cute, but also just because you kill mice. There is, like, the most Fsler thing of all time in this game, 
which is the uh, what's it called again? I'm losing my train of thought. Oh, uh, ending natural predation, which is actually something you can do. Okay, extinction rate down, emissions are down, global warming is down. Okay, I have 25 years left in my tenure. Let's see here. It looks like I'm going to have researched everything uh, pretty soon. Uh, mostly full automation. I can, I can do global demilitarization. That sounds based, so we're going to get rid of the global army. So the only army will be the Nazbul army. Uh, rotational grazing. Okay, policies. Let me see if I've gotten anything new. I can ban cars. Uh, I'm just going to do this one to game the system. So we are having a number, we're having a animal calorie shortage, a fuel shortage, and a, um, what's it called again? A animal calorie shortage. So let's get rid of that. We will build some additional green hydrogen. There's not really anything I can do about crops at the moment. Crops are just kind of fucked. I don't know. Vertical farming looks like it's just not producing anything at the moment. So I'm going to put that back into agriculture. Um, I can implement cellular meat now. So we'll switch that over a little bit. That decreases extinction rate. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, interesting. So I'm no longer allowed to use hydropower. I guess the world ran out of water or something like that. The world ran out of water. You can no longer have any uh, geothermal. That's also gone. Uh, I guess I'll increase maybe solar photovoltaic. Uh, and we will go to our next turn. And I'll see if I get overthrown in a military coup. Nope. Okay, the extinction rate is continuing to go down. I think we're at a net negative at the moment. We need to get it below 20. Uh, temperature needs to get below 20 emissions is to get it below zero okay so we are having global power shortages at the moment because of my stalinist policies Uh, de-extinction. Okay, so let's go with de-extinction. So I think that's using genetics to bring back extinct species, which honestly sounds kind of based. So I think I'm going to go with that. Um, so I am having a global shortage of electricity. So I think what I'm going to do... Uh, in this case is I'm going to implement energy quotas because of how bad the electricity uh, shortfall is. Um, fanonist, flexitarian. I'm going to have to implement flexitarian because I'm having a continual shortage of livestock. Uh, there's a critical fuel and a critical electrical shortage. See, the problem is it doesn't really say, like, what the issue is. Like, it doesn't tell me how much each of these is generating. So I don't know how much... Okay, so... Okay, so for some of these it does. 
So it looks like nuclear power is generating zero. Uh, natural gas is producing zero. Solar voltaic is producing zero. The only thing that's producing power is BECCS and um, floating wind turbines. And yet at the bottom it says 150. Is that the consumption, maybe? I guess that's consumption. So it doesn't tell me like where the shortfall is actually coming from. Or else I could adjust my uh, power mixture to better reflect the issues that they aren't producing enough. So I'm not really sure at the moment what even to do with this. Um, okay, so we have green hydrogen, coal, algae, biofuels. Okay, so I'm going to try reducing coal and petroleum in favor of algae. Okay, and then crops we still just have a massive shortfall on but I don't know if there's realistically anything I can do about excuse me about that at the moment uh, livestock livestock is just fucked so we're gonna increase that and I think that's about all I can do so we're gonna end this turn it's gotten to the point where I don't think I'm going to be overthrown in a military coup. <coughs> oh, or I spoke too soon. World contendedness fell. I think that's because I implemented um, energy quotas. So we're still having electrical shortages all over the world. Uh, we have the first hundred million inhabitant city. That's that sounds good. Wild lawns. Wild lawns are, oh, that sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> Earth Liberation Front is attacking. Cool. Uh, extinction rate is now in the negative. So things seem to be going pretty well. People are unhappy. Non-humans will finally have a voice in government. Based? So I think I've completed most of the projects in the game at this point. Uh, let's see, mostly full automation. Okay, let me see here. So I'm gonna have to do some of these uh, other policies that I've been avoiding. Uh, just because I don't have, I have a quite a low amount of, um, oh, hey girl, you want to help me save the world? Ow, rain bit me. Apparently she sees this degenerate video game for what it is. Uh, we're going to do degrowth policies as well, because degrowth policies are based. We are having shortages of fuel and electricity there is not enough land you should change your production misses to use less rain is desperately trying to um, block my computer uh, so I, I can't engage in this destruction of the world. So based rain. I think I can't do those because that is a uh, using a lot of land. And I think we're using up too much land at the moment. So, okay. Lunkleys, wind turbines... 
and nuclear power. Okay, that sounds good. So fuel. Oh, I see green hydrogen uses a lot of land. Okay, I'm starting to get a, a slightly better idea of what the issue is I'm having uh, in this game. Why does algae use land? Isn't algae grown like vertically or something like that? You would think that it would, that would not be an issue. Oh, whatever. Ah, uh, petroleum. Don't think I have access to any new policies, so I'm just going to end my turn and lay two cards face down. Project completed. Space colony. Let's fucking go. The off-world colony was a success. Can you hear me? The connection's really bad. Uh... The extinction. Okay. Uh, we're a metal shortage. Okay. All right. Contenin, this is way up. Extinction rate seems to have gone up a bit for some reason. Uh, and we have a space colony now. Oh. Did I win the game? Well played. Me and the animal liberationists ushered the world into a prosperous future? What? You helped electrify the world. You kept on using fossil fuels. So they just ended the game. They didn't let me even finish it. I um, I don't think like I was even halfway through my term. Um, I don't know if they ended the game because I was... Uh... Why exactly? I, I don't know. Rain, do you know why they ended the game, girl? Rain's just sitting in my lap at the moment. She's just going, who is this asshole? I just want my lap time. I want to be pet. I don't want to have to deal with the fate of the world. So, let's see. How long has this been streaming going on for? I didn't. They didn't even let me do the most paused of all of these, which is end natural predation. I don't even know how that's possible if they just go around and feed all the lions, like, uh, manufactured meat or some nonsense like that. Uh, I have played that, um, I have played Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is shit, though. But, thoughts on monkeypox. All right, clipping channels. Monkeypox is based. Um, there we go. I said it. Uh, so. Oh, I, I think that was kind of fun. I have some housing research myself to do. I hope people enjoyed that. Lots.